So yeah, um, welcome to my tutorial of Padabon 3 uh, when we will manage uh, set skills, class skills, equipment, which type of weapon should you use and uh, what exactly are they for. Uh, should you like play or more like glass cannon or tank or I don't know healer or any stuff like that. So yeah, um, I'm recording this. I mean, I'm recording my voice after I recorded the video, so I'm going to keep up with the, you know, with the video. So yeah, I'm starting with Grembor. Uh, let me pick no weapons here and no set skills, just to show you what his damage is come from. So yeah, as you can see, it has a little HP, and the most important thing, as you saw, is the slash elemental attack. You have to keep in mind, every weapon has a different type of uh, elementary attack. Uh, look, I'm showing here Backbone 4. Yeah, if you develop Can Assault, you can get Fire, Ice, Knockback and Stagger Immunity to your Grembor and... Uh, and yeah, and Can Assault. I'm picking here, I think... Yeah, yeah, the Ice set. So yeah, I'm picking my set which I should use overall. And as you can see, it's slash ice. So I'm dealing slash type of web slash type of damage and ice. I'm picking here lower uh, lower type of enchantments because I want to show you the most closest uh, the closest I mean uh, the closest damage you can get from or or HP. So yeah, as you can see, Slash Master has uh, plus hundred. Uh, adaptive force to slash elemental weapons. Uh, lightning master. There is there's more kinds of like lightning master, stab master, slash master, strike master, flame master, etc. etc. So we have to manage which weapon has what type of weapon, because other uh, like strike attack won't uh, won't affect uh, like a swords or something like that. Peerless Dragon is really recommended set skill if you want to, re uh, I mean, if you want to play versus and you know you will die a lot, you should equip almost every time Peerless Dragon, because it lets your hero uh, respawn every two seconds. I, I mean every ten seconds. I picked Peerless Penguin here, and as you can see, uh, my damage haven't been halved, but instead of that, my attack speed have. So it's kind of bug. I don't know why. Overall, I really like the set skills damage plus. It doesn't show up on, on this screen, but overall, it, it works in game. I'm just testing something here, I guess. Uh. Oh, yeah, if you select damage plus, it doesn't show up in, in here, but it shows in game later. So, yeah, it's actually cool. Overall, uh, the Kalad Bonk, you know, I've edited the textures, textures, and some some names on it. Has slash type of weapon, type of attack. I mean, All right, next hero, I choose Yarida, and let me just pick no weapons and set skills, just to show you how to properly. Uh, get him to deal some damage. As you can see, stop, stop elementary attack. So slash master won't work on that. You have to pick the stab master. But if you select the rebel spear, it has strike elementary uh, elementary attack. So keep that in mind. Look, I chose now flame spear, and it it has fire elementary attack and stab master. So flame master will affect this spear, as you can see. Yeah, like that. So overall, re always take Radiance if you have developed Picron class skill. Because Pic Picron class skill makes your Yarida so powerful that you can like one-shot almost everyone uh, if, you are, if you pretty have nice damage or stuff like that. Usually I go with uh, Samurai Hat, but in, in this set I recommend you to go with some flame helmet, just to get some more HP and more st uh, I mean flame rate. Pick up stab master, spear attack for perilous bovine and perilous deer. 
Paras Deer lets you, I mean, grants you immunity to status effects in hero mode, but slightly increased damage taken during that period. So, it's really helpful if you're facing against Kana Assault. Uh, I, I must always take Paras Dragon on some classes that, like, are very squishy. But overall, remember to use Peerless Bovine on class that have lower minimal, uh, minimum attack than maximum. Because if the minimum attack exceed the uh, maximum attack, you should consider not taking Perilous Bovine. Because look, in here you can see... Actually, no, no, not yet. If you take off Perilous Bovine, did I? No, I think I didn't take it. But overall, Parkelia's Flight has very low minimal attack. So I usually go with uh, Perilous Bovine. And as you can see, uh, it had 26% uh, for uh, shield break, so yeah, it's pretty nice as well. Alright, moving on to the next champ. Canasal, which, which is really super powerful hero on Versus. Overall, you can play as tank, damage dealer, attack speed, or... Um, I'm not sure that there's actually a lot of, uh, a lot of sets you can try on. But for now, I think... I will show in just one second. Oh yeah, as you can see, access has sla slash uh, attack, so yeah, keep that in mind. Slash master, it work, it will work. Oh yeah, I'm going to show you now uh, the set skills for cooperation, I guess. I choose the not the best one just to show you my minimal damage could have been. Yeah, powerless bovine slash master. Uh, probably... There is a dragon? I'm not really sure what I'm showing right now, but... Oh yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna change weapon now, if I remember correctly. No, actually, I'm using this set for versus, but real... Not, not really... I mean, I don't like it at all, because I prefer more tankiness than that. Oh yeah, I'm now showing the cooperation damage which you can get. I'm not sure why did I pick the Slash Master. I mean, the Stamina too. Alright, I'm now showing a uh, damage which you can get if you are if you have like really low equipment. Like really low, as you can see I have some helmets plus 7. Uh, yeah. But overall, overall, even though with this shit equipment you can have like tons of damage and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm now showing you my personal set, which I'm using on Versus. Uh, Pages Dragon, Penguin, Bovine, I mean Slash Master and Stamina 2. It has really nice and decent uh, damage when you hit your critical rate. And you have a lot of HP, so yeah, I think it's a good one. Yeah, moving to... I guess from the Farok if I remember? Or yeah, Ohorok first. So yeah. If you want to play a Horok, you have to manage his skill shots. I mean, if you're playing with Singe, you have to know how to use it properly. You have to know your damage. I, even though it's RNG, but you know, you still have to know some damage, what you can deal. Mm, I didn't really level up these three because I'm not really using them on Versus, but in the future I will develop them. Alright, so you can have three different types of weapon. You can play Volcano, you can play Singe, or you can play Lightning Mask. I mean Lightning. Now I'm showing kinda my equipment from 2016. Because I didn't have like back in the day that good equipment, so I selected uh, some enchants that are really easy to get from Maiden. Paris Dragon, Flame Master, Paris Bovine are and you know with this set you can kill everyone. You can kill Denga, you can kill Kanasal, you can kill everyone. You just have to play smart. Now, if I remember, I'm going to show you the speedy set uh, with Lightning Master. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm going to doing that right now. And this set is meant to stagger enemies, not to damage them. I mean, if you are lucky and you know how to hit Lightning uh, two times, then you should only, only I mean, all, you should always get it. 
this set lets you to shoot twice. Here's my setup I'm using on Versus as a Horrock. I really like to play Singe because it's kinda skill to use and you have to know where you, you should use your hero mode or where should you use your uh, special attack. Yeah, charge attack, I mean. These boots are really helpful for that because you can shoot almost every single type of weapon twice. So yeah, it's really cool. But if you can, if you don't like the synth you can play with Vulcano, it's really OP. So it, I mean, it can retreat one v five everyone. So yeah, next one is Vonda Prapa. I usually want to go with her as uh, high damage dealer, but without Perus Bovine. As you can see, she has a stab elemental attack. So, you can't really do anything about that, you, you don't really have uh, some like sound master or stuff like that, you just have to keep up with the things you have at the moment. I'm showing you a set on burn, right, which is really cool and kinda annoying for enemy if you're playing against Dark, dark Hero. Mm, so yeah, pick Flame Master, uh, Tropical Toweling, a Grass Grower, which lets you uh, grow grass, and... What did I choose? Uh, I don't remember. Ah yeah, the bonfire. Big bonfire. You can pick Freya to shoot faster and you still have like 200 plus uh, burn rings. So yeah, it's really cool. You can do this... Oh yeah, so remember you have the fire, fire elemental if you pick fire weapon. You can do the same thing with your ice horn. But your elemental type of attack will change to ice, remember. You have to really manage that. Uh, what you're seeing at your equipment. Because if you can keep, I mean, if you can keep with your equipment, you can keep with set skills. And if you can keep with set skills, you can actually win the game without even using any equipment. Because if you're smart and you know the game mechanics, you can actually win by everything by yourself. So yeah, here's going to be my set I'm using, which, which is high damage dealer Vonda Parappa, really, really fast. And really cool to use. I really recommend it for everyone. I yeah, chose the Bald Cap instead. It was my mistake. So yeah, I'm going for Perez Mushroom and Corn and Rat, which gives quadruples my. Uh, wait, is it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's it. It quadruples my uh, my damage. Just look, Corn and Rat works when you when your stamina is falls below 25%, you get the attack quadrupled. And Purse Mushroom start, lets you start with 25% maximum health. So with these two set skills you can have uh, free uh, quadruple damage. So yeah, I choose P Pierce Bog because you have like no HP and you are still pretty much one shot able about everything. So just pick Pearl's Bow, uh, except everything. High damage, uh, high mobility and uh, high attack speed. I really recommend this set. So yeah, for a lesson for now. Bows has a stab elemental attack, so you have to keep in mind you have to use stab master almost on every type of uh, yeah on every type of bows and long bows or even crossbows. I think I'm going to show you the set with Yoichiro, yeah Yoichiro with Samurai Head. It gives you additional crit rate and good attack speed. So yeah, it's really cool for awesome. As you can see, it has been increased by some of it, like 60%. Yeah, really cool set. If he can manage to use it properly, it can be a very deadly, deadly weapon. So yeah, pick Stab Master, a Perilous Bovine, a Dragon, Perilous Dragon, a Perilous Deer, Damage Plus, or instead of Damage Plus, you can take a Tropical Towlings, and Bow Attack 4. Really recommend that set because. It's really powerful and versus you can be like unstoppable with this. You have high crit rate, you have uh, high damage, you have everything. So yeah, it's a really good set. But I'm using the other set instead of toweling. I'm using the perilous gear for. Uh, I'm actually when I'm playing against. I mean when I'm playing versus, I'm usually facing Kanasal, so I really like to use perilous gear. All right, boys. My favorite class, I mean your favorite class, is here, Kaloga Bank. Alright, what can I say about it? Uh, it's a glass cannon. 
that's pretty much it. It's a glass cannon. You, I mean, you can use it as tank, just to have like one k, one thousand uh, HP. I mean, full, one hundred thousand HP. But why? You need to like one shot the enemy, not like tank enemy. I mean, if you can manage your damage and your HP properly, you should be good to go. But I prefer to go for glass cannon if you're playing uh, as cannon or like or laser. But I don't like laser, so I'm only using the cannon because I got the ultimate cannon, and it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I'm showing here set skills. Which should you use for this type of set? And now I'm going to show you the my type of set, which is really. Really powerful, must say. So yeah, I hope you can all understand me because my English isn't really the best, but I'm still learning, remember that, keep that in mind. I'm trying to pick some... Uh, pick some other weapon, but... <laughs> this ult sucks ass. Yeah, it was... It's my f fifth ultimate. And it's really bad. It has literally no damage. I mean... It's even lower. It has lower damage than Dream Drain. It's so bad. I mean, it has a additional attack speed, but yeah, overall, let's talk. No, let's not talk about that one. So yeah, Blunderbuss has a Strike Elemental attack. So keep in mind, you should use Strike Master. But Laser has no Elemental attack. I mean, it has Light, but you cannot like X. I mean, you cannot select Strike Master and have damage. It it won't work. You have to keep in mind you can play as as I said earlier tank or glass cannon. So glass cannon means you can one shot everything, but if something touches you, you're dead. You have to make no mistakes while you play him. All right, moving on to the next class. Tundinga, yeah, boys, yeah. Here, second favorite class. Torito Burrito loves it. So yeah. <laughs> Right, now I'm gonna show you the damage without anything. Remember, clubs have strike elemental attack, axe has slash elemental attack, so it's a different story here. Right, usually you wanna go with chrono riggers. Um, but I'm not really sure what I'm gonna show here. Oh yeah, the chrono riggers have immunity to crit chance so they are really powerful to do libera or play versus with him so yeah develop your tatarazai to energy field 50 percent to get your maximum potential from uh, reducing physical damage it's really helpful on versus such like playing against kibada or playing against i mean doing libera or any stuff like that i'm going to show you a versus set instead of libera set and after that i'm going to show you uh, the the set I'm using for golds, I mean the Svel, the Isalari, the Alach, and... Uh, what's this called? Oh yeah, the Frogger. So here's my setup for Versus. I'm not really using Dengal Versus because it's a brainless champion for me. It's like Garen in League of Legends. It's just spinning to win and nothing can really hurt you if you're going tank. Really, really cool set. As you can see, I'm using Enchant's uh, w, which stands for weight, wa wave, some stuff like that. But now, uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like with better type of we weapons and enchantments. You have almost 400k as your HP, and you have decent amount of damage. And now I'm going to show you set on spells. And spells, Isalari, Ella. I mean, you cannot defeat Ella by using Denga because uh, he's he's untouchable by forces that you are fighting melee, melee, melee. Huh? Not sure. Here's my setup for spell, frog, and Isalari. Perilous ship, which gives you invulnerability um, to all attacks except burn attacks. So it's like if you touch something which is um, by fire, you're instantly dead. 
But if it's not, uh, I mean, if on map there's no fire, you can like go with perilous deer and perilous sheep, and you're unbeatable if you can keep up with your uh, uh, beat. So yeah. Here's a set which I'm using for uh, for gods, as I said earlier. As you can see, 25% damage reduction, which is insane. Uh, but now I'm going to show you my set for versus, I suppose. I'm not really sure. Oh no no no! I'm showing the set now for Lib Libera. Uh, the Death of Jealousy. Oh yeah, it's Death of Jealousy. You can actually defeat um, Doi, which is Libera, without all Demonium Shield. It's... R I mean, it's easy if you have Stinger Shield or high level Ice Shield with some nice enchant. So yeah, I'm going to make tutorial on this in future. Alright, moving on to Miamsar, which is one of my favorite heroes over here. Remember, each type of his weapons has slash, stab, and if you use a lightning blade, it has a lightning elemental attack. So you can have like slash master, stab master, and lightning master in one hero, see, which is really OP. Uh, the most set I'm using here is Olimada Shiv, but I'm going to show you the lower, I mean the poor set guy. <laughs> Oh yeah, you should really get one of these Holy Mother Sheath and equip with Lightning Blade. It gives you nice damage, nice attack. As you can see, Slash, Stab, Lightning, Light. So you can select Stab Master and it works, you can select Lightning Master and it works, and you can select Slash Master and it still works. It applies to your damage, it's really cool. Really cool and nice damage dealer. Select Paradise Bovine, so oh, my damage is actually insane now. I can literally one shot any squishy hero and even some like uh, Kibadas, stuff like that. As you can see, I have written pretty nice attack speed because of the natural enemy, which gives you me welcome bonus, gives me uh, double. I mean, uh, it gives me double my uh, attack speed, so I'm really fast uh, wi without. Uh, I'm really fast with Shiv, because Miamsar overall is really slow with Shivs, but after you develop his, his class skill, it's... I mean, he's getting pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, uh, next champion. Mm, Bowmonk. Uh, what can I say about Bowmonk? I'm not really playing it. I mean, if I want to troll or support someone in story mode. I'm usually going with Natura Touch, Natura's Touch. Uh, and going for bunny head, which gives me a set. Gives me, a, uh, as you can read here, boost heal the, I mean high heal boosting attack. Power does little damage. As you can see, attack bonus is shit, but uh, defense are pretty nice. I mean, fire is deadly for you, but you know you're tree, so <laughs> you're, you're dead once you meet uh, flame. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, it's my versus set. I'm really staying behind and just trying to heal my uh, forces. Yeah, it's really cool. You can play... You can actually choose the... Oh uh, yeah. The ice arms. They're really cool as well. I mean, you can play more like tank and you can still heal a lot of damage, like... If you select instead of Arm Attack 3 Purse Penguin, which I'm going to do right now, yeah. Uh, you can ha as, as you can see, it's a lot of HP and you can heal out of if you have uh, class skill developed by Bomunk. Your healing is twice, twice effective as it should be without. So yeah, really cool. Yeah, Guratira. <laughs> nice little bug here. Alright, so I'm playing Gradira as tank. I mean, I don't like to play as tank, but uh, sometimes I have to. But overall, my favorite playstyle uh, is with uh, the Lance. Don't mind the plus 150 shield, because it, it's just made for purpose, for, for, for fun. Just to knock down some enemies at story mode, and it looks ridiculous. 
But yeah, so Paris Dragon, Paris Penguin, uh, 3 and Stamina Boost, 2. You have 300k uh, HP. And as you can see, it doesn't really help the 20... I mean, 20,000 really doesn't is that good. You get instead of that 1,000 armor, I mean defense, and really nice resist, so it's really cool. Oh yeah, but here's my type of playstyle on Guardira. I'm choosing... Usually I'm choosing the Stagger Lance because... Actually, I don't know why, but I just like it. Yeah, Stabmaster, Peles Bovine, uh, Paris Dragon, and what else? And Paris Penguin. You have a lot of HP, a lot of attack damage. You can one-shot, I mean, everyone if you're lucky. Uh, you actually, technically, you can play with sword as well, but I prefer the the stab elemental attack. But remember to choose a stab master to slash master. Yeah, it has a good type of damage as well, but I usually go for uh, how's it called the lance. Yeah. Next champ, hmm, Charibasa. Yeah, Charibasa. So Charibasa, you can play like. Hmm. You can actually play a lot of ways. You can play ice set, you can play fire set, you can play one shot set, you can play. Uh, you can play anything you really want. It's up to you. Uh, right now, I think I'm gonna to show you the lower set for Cyclops, which is really playable if you have at least Aldemonium. Even plus, plus five should be okay. Uh. Damage without any set skills is incredibly high. Uh, remember, remember to develop her because you get like, yeah, giddy up. Let's your we heal uh, get uh, like to up levels. So it's like my chariot right now is plus 38. If you have giddy up for develop chariot attack, Yaripon spear and Kanyokon spirit. It will uh, gives you. Immunity, immunity to fire, knockback, stagger, and ice. All right, pick Paris Bovite, Stabmaster, and Paris Beard if you want to farm Cyclops. It's really, really, I think the best and the easiest way to farm Cyclops uh, from DLC mission. It's really easy to do them. Even if you don't have the chariot, uh, critical chariot, you can select any other type. Just not use the dead mark. Because it has no, uh, no crit chance. So yeah. Right now I'm showing my set, which I'm using. I'm playing with Kabuto just to shoot faster, not bald cap. Uh, yeah, right. Um, it's my set for, for, how is it called? Uh, for Cyclops. It's really, really cool to use it, and it has a lot of damage. Cyclops, I uh, can do anything to. So yeah, now, now is my set for Versus. Instead of Paradise Spirit, I'm choosing Paradise Dragon just to... Um, just to get up myself easier. I think the next class will be Kibada, yeah. A Kibada. Uh, what can I say about Kibada? Kibada is pretty insane hero. He's, he's really amazing, I mean... He has like no counters. If you are if you're Kibada main, if you know what I'm talking about, you should actually understand that Kibada isn't really balanced. I mean, most of the things in this game ain't balanced, but yeah, never mind that. Mm, usually, I'm going for versus with Fire Lance, uh, Aldemonium Shield, and Bulgam Bully. Did I choose it? Yeah, I choose it. Even when your, I mean, when your equipment is low, as you can see, if you select Stabmaster, Dragon, Paris Dragon, and Paris Bovine, you have actually a lot of damage. But if you select Paris Penguin, you have shit ton of HP and shit ton of damage. If you have like more level Aldemonium ship or shield or better levels, I mean better enchantment, as you can see, just look, three hundred thousand HP. And 1 to 51k damage, it's insane. Kibata is really insane for versus. Uh, Vondaparta? No, no. What else? 
forest end. I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, I think it's the end here. So yeah, um, that was all from set skills, you should remember. I mean, you should keep in mind. Uh, you should really develop your class skills if you want to become better at Versus, or even at, uh, if you cannot handle the Libera or other stuff like that. And if you are not lazy and if you're in their team TMF, you can like do anything you want in this game. Because once you hit this 32 level minimum or you just get this macro place, you will be unstoppable like or other players that are good in this game like Malwick, I don't know, me, Artem, I don't know, uh, Kluch, uh, Jut and etc. So yeah. That's everything for me at this moment and I hope I will hear you later in my comments. Comment down below and uh, did I help you and is it okay to do some stuff like that? I hope you really enjoy it and yeah, see ya in next tutorials. Bye bye.